pretty good, Paul. This is amazing. Yeah. This is my best drive ever. It's English. Hello, my wrong country. Thank you. Under half. We're up at the Murphy today, and uh, there's been a new donation: a 1960 Jaguar, automatic, having a little bit of uh, fuel issues at the moment, but I think uh, we should be able to make it in there. We're at the Murphy, this is Alan, and we got this Jaguar in. I know it's a 60 Jaguar, but you know much more about Jaguars than I do. Well, during the war, uh, Bill Hines and his troop of engineers decided to build an engine that they could use for their, essentially, saloons after the war. Mm -hmm. And they did such a good job that they uh, ended up using it as a racing engine just for fun when they went to the uh, motor show in, I think, 1948. They took the, uh, the saloon car's engine, which was this dual overhead cam straight six, uh, 3.4 liter engine, and put it in an all aluminum sporty car, the XK120, which they had no interest in building at all. They just wanted to show something flash at the auto show in uh, Great Britain. Anyway, they had a bunch of orders and ended up making hundreds of the XK120s. And because the engine was 160 horsepower, which was pretty, pretty good for a 3.4 liter back then, uh, it became a competitive car. They went on to win Le Mans with that engine in uh, 51, 53, 55, 56, and 57. So it became known as the Jaguar Racing Engine, the dual overhead cam 3.4 liter engine. Mm -hmm. And it transferred so nicely into this beautiful saloon because everyone knew they had a racing engine. Yeah. Um, see, I told you, he knows a lot about Jaguars. I have one question, and what is it that we could do to this car to turn it into a Shaguar? <laughs> The, the unanswerable question. <laughs>